Hi, welcome to my weekly challenge series on BBO. What I do? Uh, um, yeah, we played three challenges yesterday while I was drunk, so I set up a different playlist called uh, Drunk Bridge or Bridge Drunk. <laughs> Actually, it's Drunk Bridge. So here we go. Sober, a little hungover, but see how we do. I've got cookie clicker open there in case you were. I was I was very um, briefly addicted to Farmville, and I've been very briefly addicted to this. I've made a pledge that after this month I will not play this anymore. I've been playing it for how long? Didn't it say there? Maybe it only said there the first thing. I've only done one ascension. Um, anyway, this is, does it say, no, it says this run. Anyway, here we go. Uh, diamond. So this looks like slam one, two, three, four, five losers opposite an opening hand. And, uh, Hmm. Hmm. Well, you could bid Forno, or you could bid Gerber, or you could bid Six No. Gerber's not going to tell me much. I know we're not off two aces. Um, Or you could bid two clubs and see if partner has three hearts, which makes slam better. But then you lose the ability to quant. I think I'm just going to quant. If he's got 12, I don't want to be there, I don't think. If he's got 12, I think it's likely to be at best on a hook. Um, and probably worse. If he's got 14, I definitely want to be there. We have 32 and uh, possible sources of tricks. The Ten of Hearts is a big card, so let's just do that. Okay. And he had an ugly 12. And did we want to be there anyway? No. If the Ace of Clubs is offside, then we've all been in worse slams than this, but um, I don't think it's percentage. But we should be doing everything we can to try to make slam, even if we're not in it. So, what does that mean? Obviously, we're not ducking the first diamond because that gives up on slam. Um, obviously, we have five heart tricks and lots of communications. 
The question is, do we go after clubs at trick two or spades? If we want to go after clubs, we want to win the ace of diamonds here. And then when they knock out our last diamond stopper, are we going to be willing to I think we're willing to look silly if the ace of clubs and the queen of spades are off. If playing for something else um, will get us more. So let's say I win the ace of diamonds, play a club up. Um, and west might rise and play another diamond. Or East might win and play another diamond. Uh, if West rises and plays another diamond, um, two, four, nine, I have 11 tricks and 12 if I want to risk the spade finesse. But if I, if I win the king of diamonds and play on spades, or should I win, then um, they're going to knock out the diamond and it doesn't matter who has the club. I'm never scoring any clubs. That's assuming the spade finesse lost. I wonder if I wasn't hung over, if I would have a eureka moment here. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have nine top tricks. And I can easily guarantee 10. <sighs> Sigh. Kind of a strange lead. Um, a, a spade or a club lead is more attractive. So why didn't he do that? Maybe he has queen fourth of spades or the queen and the ace of clubs. Hmm. <sighs> Picture him with two or three small spades. Wouldn't Gib likely lead a spade here? Instead of leading Declare's suit? I really feel like the spade queen is on. Could be onside doubleton though. And then I can't afford to pitch a spade from dummy. I was thinking of running all my hearts, but what am I gonna pitch on the fourth round? Um, if I pitch diamonds, well they, then they have easy diamond pitches behind me. All right, well, I'm going to go with my read and say East has the Queen of Spades. And the Ace of Clubs. Whatever. Just do something. Um... I don't know. 
Okay, good. Even better. And I have the rest. Um, I have four hearts, a spade, a diamond, and a club from here. It was Queen Doubleton. Hard to, hard to evaluate that one. I'm going to say on average it's a push. I uh, could be losing to six no making and it could be beating four no making five or six no down um, if they timed it wrong. Really strange lead from that hand. I'm surprised they didn't lead a club. Incredibly strange lead. Um, Yeah, it's, it's hard to go wrong there. Like, even if you win and, and play five rounds of hearts pitching spades, I think you still have 12 tricks. If, if then you play a club. Well, entries and blah, blah, blah. Now, I, I hope they found some way to not make 12. I give that a 45%, not a 50. Um, but I think not bidding slam with 18 opposite the ugliest 12 in the world is, is quite reasonable. Okay, one club it looks like. What's this? Preemptive. Well, I don't think I have what it needs to make five clubs or three no. Let's see what partners. Okay, that's good. That's you didn't underbid. Um, if clubs don't break, we're probably down here. But we'll see what happens. It was a diamond over a call, right? Uh, hmm. Isn't it a diamond over a call? Hmm. Almost positive. I can look, but 
sometimes I like to pretend I'm actually playing bridge and can't ask for a review after I've played it to a trick. Um, Do I have any reason to put West on stiff ace of clubs? I mean, certainly not that unlikely, but uh, if I had 10, 9, 8, it might be worth considering to run the 10. But I don't. I'm almost certain West has the ace of clubs. But I don't think I had enough to go on to conclude that it was Singleton. Okay. It was not Singleton. So. Um, We could cross rough from here or do whatever. We have lots of winners. So that should be flat 90 times out of 100, 90% of the time, maybe 95. Um, but whatever small upside it has, or small side it has, I think is up. Um, Okay, we open this a club, and we bid a spade. You could be sneaky and rebid a no trump, and that can be wildly successful. And uh, if this is invitational, I do not have a hand that wants to accept that invitation. So. If I had rebid a no trump, he'd have bid two no, which might be a better spot. Might not be. I mean, it could be off the first five or six club tricks, theoretically. But um, that would be pretty bad luck. It, it looks like they're going to find a heart rough. Should I cover this to try to force the ace out? All right. Um, when was that? <laughs> This might be a two-parter. Okie doke. So far, this is going well. And uh, now we have the rest except for one, right? They didn't have a heart rough, so that explains the weird defense. 
Yeah. Okay. Looks like a no Trump opener. Yeah, I'm in for a penny, in for a pound. And booyah. Trust give to never find the right lead against three no. switch. So now I can guarantee making five. Um, making six. <laughs> are good. I've got to remember that in case I get whisked away. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's it. I have to rest. So. I better try to find out when that tournament is so that I don't get interrupted mid-hand. less than a minute. So that'll be it. Uh, this will be a two-parter. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.